Oi boys, welcome, welcome to another video on the channel, this one a long time coming, we've got part 2 of our Rugby League Live 5 wishlist, and just a brief recap of episode 1, we talked about the fundamentals, for attack in particular, surpassing and kicking pretty much, for this video we'll be talking about defence, keep in mind this wishlist is made with the thoughts of the new developers, potentially taking over or improving upon Rugby League Live 4. Now when it comes to defence, the top of the list for me would be try line defence improvement, and to be more specific, the try scoring situations in particular. The dreaded drop down cheese needs to be taken out completely. For one, we need to have the ability to add nearby players into what we'll call the one on one struggle animation. It's always awkward when there's only one defender trying to stop a try being scored and there's several others just standing around watching it happen. I guess a whole new mechanic would be ideal for those situations instead of instead of the preset one-on-one -on -one animations. An alternative would be to remove the one-on-one -on -one struggle animations altogether or make it so halves can't trigger it often because adding a player into those situations is currently possible. It's just hard to trigger for some reason. We need it to feel more seamless. That's easily the biggest annoyance I have with the game um, when it comes to defense in particular. They actually have two man and three man gang tackles on the try line, but uh, for some reason, it, you don't see it as much as you would, say, seeing a 5'8 or a halfback just hitting the line and driving his way over. So yeah, the drop down cheese. Send it to the Shadow Realm. Other than try line defense, I'm not too sure what else could be made to improve the experience on the defensive side of things, like when it comes to new mechanics and whatnot. I do like the controlled movements. That was a nice new feature they added into Rugby League Live 4, so I guess a refined version of that would be appreciated. Maybe taking a page out of games of the past could improve defensive play. I guess I wouldn't be opposed to seeing the return of separate low tackles and armpin tackles and possibly scrapping the current automatic tackle. You could potentially map it into the analog stick. How I'd do it is I'd pull away from the ball carrier to go low and push towards to perform an armpin tackle, which is uh, like a ball and all tackle and both those methods having its own pros and cons like uh, in rugby league live 2 and in league live 3 arm and tackles leaving you more susceptible to being stiff armed but it basically stops you from offloading and low tackles the safer option but increases the chance of an offload speaking of i don't think i covered it in the first wishlist video but the offloading needs an overhaul as for the dive tackle i think it's pretty good it used to be super overpowered in league live 3 because there wasn't a counter or well there was if it was a player versus a player but the ai never countered the dive tackle so i'm glad they turned it more into an ankle tap and on the odd occasion you would get a legs tackle from behind i guess making the dive from behind tackles more frequent would be a good improvement and lastly, what might be on the top of the list for a lot of people, it's a visual thing, it's an aesthetic thing, and that is more animations for all tackle types. Big hits in particular, they definitely held out on us on League Life 4 when it comes to big hits. Right now, I think there's only one style of big hits with two reactions. It just simply isn't enough. Playing the older games as of late, especially 1 and 2, they definitely had more variety when it came to the big hits. They had tackles that'll send the ball carrier flying, and they also had hit and stick type big hits. That's basically where I'm at with the animations in particular. I mean, I wouldn't mind amalgamation of all the previous games. There's some decent big hits in the older versions that aren't just flat out shoulder charges. They'd fit right in with a new game in my opinion. I was going to touch on the formations, but uh, there really isn't much you can do. They have compress line, they have shift left, shift right, and prepare for kick. I'm not sure if there's anything else to add to that. But on the attacking side of things, we will talk tactics in the next wishlist video. For now there, we're going to wrap it up there. That does it for Fundamentals Part 2. So we've basically covered passing, kicking, and tackling improvement. As for the next entry in this wishlist series, we'll be talking about tactics and modes. If you've got ideas for those, again, feel free to share them. But for the moment, we're going to wrap it up there. As always, if you did enjoy that, be sure to run a share of that like button. And to see more Rugby League related content, go ahead and drop a cheeky sub. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you. Later.